Hey good people and welcome back to the channel. Over the course of this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts and feelings on Season 3, Episode 2 of Family or Fiance. And for this review, I won't even waste your time or beat around the bush. This episode was probably one of my least favorite episodes of Family or Fiance, and I've seen every single one of them. So if you give me a few moments of your time, I'll explain why. This episode shines a spotlight on the couple Donzella and Paul. They've been together for four and a half years, and on first glance, I'll say that they're one of the oldest couples to appear on the show. When they first met, Donzella was working in the entertainment field, and Paul was an entertainment corporate attorney. They initially worked with one another on business, but the love bug bit both of them. And I guess you could say that Paul went from cash and checks to clapping cheeks. Now, when host Tracy asked Donzella and Paul about being romantically involved while married, they completely deny the thought of cheating on their spouses. But their story doesn't add up at all, and there were quite a few lies that were told over the course of this episode. So Paul and Donzella invite their family on the show. To sum it all up, Donzella's family wants to make sure that Paul is the right guy for her, while Paul's family hates Donzella and they have a grudge because they believe that Paul and Donzella cheated on their partners. And the sisters, particularly Alexis, despises cheating. And I think what it all boils down to is that Alexis believes that if Donzella cheated on her husband, then it's only a matter of time before she cheats on Paul, which is a valid point. When the family breaks apart for group exercises, Paul is tasked with sharing his relationship timeline with Donzella's family, and Donzella does the same with Paul's family. Now this part of the episode was probably the funniest, because Donzella and Paul's math wasn't adding up. And when I say that it wasn't adding up, I mean that Donzella and Paul had completely different months and years for the same events that happened. And there was only one date that they actually agreed on. So either they are both compulsive liars, or they're living in an alternate reality. So the remainder of the episode essentially turns into a quest to discover the answer to the age-old question. What is cheating exactly? You see, Donzella and Paul feel that cheating is defined as the exchange of bodily fluids that occurs when a man inserts his tallywhacker inside a woman's tender love pudding, and anything else that happens outside of that is fair game. But Paul's family feels differently, and that becomes the source of the conflict for this episode. Now later on when Paul and Donzella sit down with Tracy, Paul shares a questionable picture with him and Donzella while they were still married. Donzella tries to explain that she always wanted to do body painting, and Paul did it with her. But in the picture, Donzella has her chesticle exposed, and Paul's head is nearby. Now as a fan of the show, I thought the picture was funny. But if I were married to Donzella and I saw the picture, I would have asked for a divorce as well. But this scene was pretty sad to watch, and this was because host Tracy was pulling teeth just to get Paul and Donzella to acknowledge that they cheated on their spouses before getting divorced. I think Paul was more receptive to the advice, but Donzella was completely resistant and she did not have any regrets. The only other part of the episode worth mentioning was the conflict between Alexis and Donzella. Donzella confronts Alexis for calling Donzella a gardening tool, but Alexis swore up and down that she called Donzella many things, but a gardening tool was not one of them. We then see Alexis doing her own research, and she did in fact call Donzella a gardening tool several times. Alexis meets up with Donzella to apologize for denying the truth, and they have a kumbaya moment. At the end of the episode, Paul and Donzella ask their family members for their blessing, and everyone except Paul's sister Demetrius gives their blessing. Demetrius was the holdout because she really didn't know Donzella very well, but she left the door open for them to get to know each other. But in my opinion, I don't see how any of Paul's sisters gave their blessing at all, because their issues with Donzella weren't really resolved, and I don't think that enough progress was made between Alexis and Donzella for Alexis to be completely cool with Paul getting married to her. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give this episode a 2. I laughed at some parts of the episode, and with other parts, I was just tempted to hit the fast forward button. I think that Tracy did the best that she could with what she had, but there were times when she was talking to Paul and Donzella that she might as well have been talking to a brick wall. I didn't see any of the issues that either family had being resolved by the end of this episode, and with Donzella being in the entertainment field, I wouldn't be surprised if her appearance on this show was just an attempt to gain exposure for more opportunities on TV. But that's just my opinion. And this marks the end of my review, 
If you have any questions or comments related to the review or the episode, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to apply to everybody. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.